floor is done. Shower is dry. Therefore, we're going to start putting the purple shower board in here today. And not only is it not raining today, the sun is out. Yes! Here we are. You can get your first proper look at it now. You can order this stuff in 5, 8 or 10 mil. I went for 5 because it takes up less space. And it is, it's got black and silver sparkles in it. Essentially tongue and groove. So you clip the panels into each other. And we're hoping it's going to be just as easy as the floor. Dad is just going to practice cutting a little bit off the end that we don't need because we don't know how it works, we don't know how it cuts, anything like that. So we're going to give it a practice attempt first. We have this. This is the piece that goes at the top. It's a bit like coving. So the top of these pieces goes into there and that is how we're going to finish off the top of the showers. So we've just measured a piece for the back because we're not quite sure how we're going to manage all of this. So we're just trying to figure stuff out now. that we need to go get the LED lighting before we can officially put on the back wall of the shower. So we're just nipping down to the shops now. Couldn't get the lights till tomorrow, but we did get the strip that the lights sit in. So dad is just cutting this now because it's going to fit at the top here. And uh, this is how far we've got. It's not, nothing's in yet. We've just placed it all together, trying to work out how these corner things go, trying to work out everything fits together and where the light goes. So, but that's what one wall almost will look like. So the wire's gonna come in through here, yeah. just, just behind here. Yeah. We've got a wood batten underneath, so we'll put a little hole there and a little hole there. These, where these just, have got things, we've got wood joists, haven't so, we? Yeah, so. so we can screw that. And then we'll we'll put a bit of silicon on, thin layer of silicon on it. Yeah. Too and we'll screw it on. Very good. And then when we pick the lights up, we can, that's it. The wires, as long as the wires are through here, it's fine. This is the piece of trim we're using for the corners. So this groove goes down in the corner, placed in the corner, and then the purple bits go in this side and in this side and join together. And obviously everything's siliconed in place, which makes sure all the joins are waterproof. We've taken all the pieces out of that shower wall now that we're happy with it. And we're going to silicone them all together in the garage as a separate unit with these edges on as well. We're gonna get these three bits, the two edges and this tiny piece, siliconed all together outside of the van. Then we'll add the top piece on, not siliconed just for stability. Then we're gonna put the whole unit in one and we're gonna hopefully just slide it into the shower. So you silicone, it's like tongue and groove and you run a bead of silicone down here before you click them together. Just adding in screws on the corner plastic bits to hold it in place while the silicon goes off because otherwise it would just start sort of moving forwards a bit. 
because we're on the one, can't we? Uno shower wall is in. So you can see the little tape that we put on poking out at the bottom, which is exactly what we wanted. It's a layer of protection. So then once we finish the rest of it, we'll run a layer of beading on there as well. And here we are. So corners just roughly drilled in place to keep it steady. I'm really happy with it. It looks really nice. Good, it? Yeah. I was a little bit worried when it turned up that it was a bit bright, but that's bosh. Then we have to leave it there because we've got to wait for that to dry before we can do the other side. So guess what's arrived? The foam. This is four inch thick, firm foam. So it's really comfortable to sit on. It's a bit like memory foam. The back piece and this piece are one. I didn't design that piece to go there, but I think it looks all right. This is the piece that actually fits in here. If we pull this out, this piece slots in there like that and makes a very big, squared, comfortable seating lounge area. And while not in use, I've realized looks very good actually behind here so that's where it will remain and that is my seat sofa corner sofa once again things have worked out very well and it's all coming together that little bit more and now we are on our way to go get some fabric to cover said foam and you've seen a lot of dad you know how much of a legend dad is but I'm going to introduce legend number two in my life, which is my mother. You've seen a million around, but you're about to see her epic skills. Now we're into the finishing touches and the textiles and everything like that. So briefly, hi, hi. Mama Bear. This is Sandra. Hi. So we're going to go to a fabric store to see if we can find some fabric to cover the foam for the seat. And I also want to thank Sven. I think I've got your name right. I hope I've got your name right from Norway who sent me quite a contribution on buymeacoffee.com and I have bought the bedding sets with your contribution, Sven. So thank you very much. These are the two colours that we are going off today. Uh, my third setting is white, so we've got a dusky pink and a very bright pink and we're going to go find a green, ironically that I'm wearing today, we're going to go find a green to match or complement these pinks and the sofa is going to be some sort of racing green. Let's go see what we can find. We're at Merton Fabrics near York. Look how amazing these are. And they have found something. This velvet yeah. is one of the options. And we just looked at this. That's very soft. Yeah, textured. Okay, I was just pulling out this one to have a look for the headboard and as I pulled this one out, this was on top of it and it fell out and it's absolutely gorgeous and my original idea was to have navy blue in the bedroom because my bedroom right now is navy blue and white and it's really relaxing and calm and it looks lovely and I really like it. So my original idea was to put navy blue in the bedroom but then I was like, it's too many colour changes in such a small space. But now I've seen and felt that fabric. It's only 12 quid and I only need a metre, so I think I might do it and see what it looks like with the sofa in as well. And if I don't like it, I can change it, can't I? That's the idea anyway. And it looks lovely with my pink. So with my beddings. So we're gonna go for that one. And this velvet is what I'm going to use for the sofa. It's really lovely. And we're gonna do pink cushions of different colours. And now I'm going to have a look to see if I can find some more fabric for some colourful pillows. My brother got me a mushroom covered pillow, I'll show you that now, for my birthday. So that's going in and that's full of loads of really nice colours. So we need to pick some, pick some more fabric for some cushion covers now. Hehe, <laughs> the child in me wants to get something like this. <laughs> but I'll try to be sensible. I'll try to be sensible-ish. 
I'm not a very sensible human. What I'm finding is there's too much choice. I've got decision fatigue. Okay, oh my goodness, the African in me absolutely wants that. Oh, oh I want everything. Look at it, that's lovely. I am pretty obsessed with this as well. I think I'm gonna get this for a cushion. I'll add it to my pile. And then we need to get some wadding for the headboard, is this for? Yes. Yeah, so that's what this is. We'll get some of that as well. But this is my pile so far. Cushion, 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 sofa, headboard. Okay, we've taken out the baby pink one because that looks too much like my bed in. And this has a baby pink in the background. So I think that is the decision. What do you think? Fantastic. Yeah, you happy? Love them. Yeah? Really jewelly colours. Really? Like yeah. Good. Really like them. Good, good, good. That might be it then. Decision made. Eee. Okay, we may have also just found this one. And thrown this one in the mix as well. So, cushion, 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 sofa, headboard. Let's get it cut. We've got half a metre of all the cushions, six metres of that, and one metre of that. it's time for me to protect the cladding in the bathroom. To do this I am using a clear water-based varnish with a satin finish. I just got a little tester pot to see if I liked it and I do so I went to buy a bigger one and then I spilt it everywhere before I'd even managed to put it away so I'll have to get another one of those. Lol. I do really like the finish though. And I also really like this bathroom light. And guess what? We did the bedroom one too. Hee <laughs> hee! They look so good. Thank you so much for watching. A huge thank you to my patrons as always. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.